Well, I finally got all the uh, wiring straightened out, shortened, soldered in place, and I'm getting ready to put the, um, the FPV camera on and hook the uh, VTX up, but I wanted to go over this little um, camera mount option that's uh, on the Bull Terrier as well as on the bigger size um, Pitbull. Um, you have a choice of mounting options on this thing. There's, there's four slots on the base plate and if you put it in the back slot, the back two slots, and put your top frame on, let me get it there, you can mount the camera vertically straight up and down, right? Or if you put it up into the front slots, take this off, and lean it back a little bit, you can mount it with a, um, let me get that in there, right? With a 30 degree angle to give you a better view of the, the ground or the, you know, your path in front of you when you're flying uh, racing. And you're usually at a, you know, like a 35 or a 40 degree angle. The camera is angled so you can see more of what's in front of you instead of just the ground running by if you had it in a straight up position. So that's what I'm doing now. You have to um, take this camera mount and do a little filing on opposite ends and then and just keep filing at it until you uh, until you get it to angle back at just the right the right angle and you're good to go so there, I took a little bit too much off but pack it there we go so that's what I'm doing now I got that all fit I'm gonna put the uh, camera stuff in now and if you remember earlier in the video I showed you these two little screws and I said, don't lose them. Well, here's why you don't want to lose them, because these are what um, secure your camera to your camera mounting plate. All right. Here's the camera assembly and the cable. That's the hot water heater kicking off in the background. Sorry about that. Um, the VTX LT200, 32 channels, um, and the antenna extension. It saves wear and tear on this when you crash. This goes up through the frame, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I've got my camera, well, the camera when it mounts, make sure that this guy is at the bottom or the camera image will be upside down. I'm not sure if there's any um, OSD in the camera yet to flip it around. So in the meantime, that goes on the bottom. So your picture is the right way. Um, I've got my tabs filed down on opposite sides. I've also expanded the holes or the slots in the top of the frame here to get a really, really tight fit and make sure that that um, not putting any stress on the frame. So you have to do that. You have to widen these up a little bit and then narrow these tabs down a little bit on the back side of that one and the front side of that one to get it to lean right. This is the top plate. There's the VTX with the antenna extender on it. It goes through the hole in the top plate. You'll also see that I've um, did a little mod to the frame here and put um, two little straw type tubes here and that's to hold the antennas for the uh, D4 to keep them out of the prop wash. Alright, I popped the um, naze board off to show you where the camera hooks up. That's this little JST connector it goes right into those back three pins or you can put it on the front three pins just make sure the polarity is correct and it just snaps right in right there and that will power your camera and the VTX all right so here's the final um, VTX is installed the only wires I didn't cut down were these and I may go back in and do that later but for now I'm just gonna twist them up and tuck them under the frame um, a strategic cutout in the top plate allows you to get at your VTX channels. Um, here's the mod I did on the back with my um, antenna holders keep them out of the prop wash. So next up is plopping a battery on it and taking it for a spin.